to show you an all new Lego set. This here is the all new Porsche 919 Hybrid sent by Lego. In which if you want your very own, check out the link down below in the description. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here's our Porsche 919 Hybrid. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool looking box. You see the car here on the cover as well as a character that comes with it. And it looks like he has a laptop as well, kind of looking like he's working on the car. And then you have a stop and go light over there as well. Now it is licensed by Porsche as well. And I actually really like the style of this car. It really does look like a cool looking like race car as well. And then as we flip it to the back here, it kind of shows a different kind of angle of the car itself. So you see kind of zooming over here and then you got the rear part of it as well. And then you see the, uh, looks like the guy working on it. It looks like you get a wrench as well. And then down the bottom over here actually shows the car itself, the real life version of it. And it actually does look really identical to it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like underneath. Alright, so this is everything that it comes with. Uh, so you have a few different bags, as well as a decal sheet. Look at all the small little stickers on there. Very intricate as well. And then you have a few different sets of wheels that you can go ahead and customize. And then this here is our instruction manual, giving us a quick little start guide, exactly step by step, how to go ahead and put this together. So it should be quite some fun. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build this bad boy. Our Porsche 919 Hybrid is finally complete and wow, this thing looks really cool. I mean, you can actually see all the small details on it. It actually did a great job on how they made it look. Uh, it's actually got a lot of different decals on it and building it from ground up was actually a very pleasant experience. I thought it wasn't that complicated, but overall it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, and kind of seeing it come together was actually quite exciting. Now, I really like the design of it, especially with like the fin and whatnot and the huge spoiler that they have on the back. Uh, and you get this cool looking character. He's got his own little laptop, so he's actually like, working on the car at the same time and then in terms of the driver itself what you have to do is flip this piece up right here and then you just go ahead and pop that off and you go ahead and put the character in there and then you just go ahead and close this off and you're ready to go now overall it was actually a great quality build and definitely well worth it and I actually think that Lego did a great job resembling it now if you guys have any questions about this particular kit feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye <laughs>